Alrighty, alrighty. So, welcome to my channel, first and foremost. If you're here just because you're trying to figure out what camera to buy, welcome. Check out some of my other videos. You might be impressed by my content, entertained and stuff. Um, even if you're not, leave me feedback. How can I get better? Um, for those of you that watch my clips, yo, I appreciate y'all. Um, right off the rip, I just want to make it clear that... Sorry. I need to have background noise. Otherwise, I get easily distracted. That's my ADD. Whatever. Um, I wanted to do an honest review on the cameras that I used to vlog because... I needed this video so I figured there's got to be people out there that need a video similar right so all these cameras are cameras I purchased out of pocket I'm not sponsored by any of these companies however Opkicks has been one company that continues to show me love I initially purchased their bundle package which came with um, the two cameras the glasses um, the chain the ring and the selfie stick okay they have sent me um the clips for the glasses which i'll get into later they've sent me care packages for using their stuff so i appreciate this company as a consumer i'm a i'm a crazy consumer so when companies are willing to acknowledge oh shit you're spending money you're promoting me and i'm, I'm not even paying you so here's a little something i appreciate that right so i just wanted to give opkicks a shout out for that right um i am going to be talking about my osmo pocket my insta360 camera and my opkicks camera right i'm gonna go in the order of me purchasing it because that kind of plays into um the benefits and the pros and cons and why i got a, another camera after that right so i started last year with my <clears throat> dgi osmo pocket this is still my baby i love this camera so so much the only thing i would complain about like it's raining now if i wanted to go ride my bike right now i wouldn't be able to use this camera if this is the only camera i had right however but if you're someone who is starting a vlog and you just want to be able to like document yourself and the things around you super simple you don't want to be obnoxious like the people with the big ass selfie sticks and doing all of that this is the camera for it low light conditions is decent quality the images um with natural light of course the quality is amazing um it does have like time lapse features it has slow motion features panoramic features things that i've played with um it's easy to use with the app however another pitfall this is all that comes with it so if you want to be able to wirelessly connect your device to your your phone you need the wireless piece if you want to add a microphone you need the microphone piece if you want to make it waterproof you, you need the waterproof case and i have all of that and i should matter of fact i'm gonna just edit this real quick because i want to go straight through the video but let me go get the waterproof super fast this is the waterproof case just this part i bought this because it floats in case i drop it in the water because i would do them some something like that whatever you do need to put an anti-fog strip in here otherwise it gets foggy the longer you use it so it has its pros and its cons like most cameras right but i love this camera just because it's so compact i can carry it anywhere i could pull it out anywhere and when I'm taking pictures or recording, the response is quick because like I said, I like to catch candid moments. So sometimes I need to snap it real quick and it's very responsive. Um, <clears throat> but my complaints, like I said, all the added accessories you gotta buy, the fact that it's not waterproof standalone kills me because if it was, I wouldn't need none of these other cameras. But it brings us along on our review right so i have mounts and shit because like i would mount it on my bike which is why i started looking for a different camera because it wasn't waterproof and i also wanted to be able to capture different perspectives because i I started practicing willying right i ordered my optics camera next love this camera um 
for so many reasons. The first being the different perspectives that you can offer because you can use it like this. I like to just talk my shit real quick to the camera, then put it away. You can use it on a selfie stick if you want. Get better angles. The selfie stick my son has kind of chewed into, but it also acts as a stylus, right? Um, I've worn it. I had it on my finger when I was willing and I, I caught my first real fall. And it gave a really cool perspective, like not intentionally, but it's cool, right? But not everybody might use the ring. But my favorite, favorite, favorite is favorite is because it would reminded me of the Snapchat goggles, right? Glasses, the Snapchat. What are they called? Spectacles, those. Not that I was saying the Google Glass. I was thinking of that, right? So you can put it right on your glasses and get the same perspective and you don't, you're not limited to using Snapchat and just 15, um, 15 seconds clips. However, the battery does last about 20 minutes pushing it before you need a charge. It is waterproof though. Um, and the benefit of having two is when this one runs out, you put it to charge in the case that it comes with and you use this one that's fully charged. And by the time this one is dead, you swap it out and that one's charged already too. Comes with all these cool accessories. So again, if you're somebody who just likes to pick up your camera, talk shit real quick, keep it moving, it makes it super easy. Like for me at work, talking my shit at work, I'm a teacher documenting like my frustrations and everything, teacher struggles. Cause that's also going to be shit that I want to do. I'll record real quick, put it right back into my chain. Super simple, right? Something that I freaking love about this camera. Where's the pieces at? Here we go. So it comes with, right? You can either do a hat visor. And this, pers this perspective is so dope because it's like your perspective. So I don't, I'm not going to be able to put this shit on. Oop, and I cursed. So you just clip it on any any type of hat and then guess where your camera goes on the magnet ta-da and now if i'm willing and when i'm wearing my little hat all i gotta do is have my hat on and it's getting this perspective but let's say i'm not trying to wear a hat that day i want to be cute and i don't really like like i didn't like how these looked on my face they look cool online um and the other ones, these, they don't look right on my face. Guess what I can do now? They also have clips that you can slide on your personal glasses, right? So you just stretch it through here, wait. Stretch it through here. Just gotta stretch it out a little bit you know lube it up <laughs> and then you get it on and now your personal glasses can now have hold the perspective and do whatever recording you want and the quality of the video with natural light um and bright indoor light the quality is crispy and clear however in low light it does um pixelate um that's one of my pet peeves with the camera but I do love it for my beach days, taking it to the beach because it's waterproof. I could record the little clips. I could put my shades on and go in the water and capture those fun moments in the water. Um, but yeah, that's my OpKicks. And this again, this is another camera that I love and I do use. Like when I'm at work, I'm wearing my OpKicks just like this. I do use this camera still. Like when I'm going, when I'm walking or like I just want to document shit. This baby is out with me. Like, I love each camera. But I would say this is more for the vlogger who wants to capture moments <clears throat> instantaneously, real quick, and then be able to put it away. Um, you want to be discreet, but without being a creep. With the, with the light, people know you're recording them. So it's not like you can be a creep and fucking hold it under somebody's dress without it being obvious, right? Um... This one, just because of the lack of connectivity to get my content to my devices, I don't use it as much. This connects to my phone like the AirPods. So once it's connected to my phone, it uploads the videos. I can choose what I want to download. I download it. Once it's downloaded from the device, I can wipe. It wipes itself, and the device is fresh to record. 
perfect. But the camera that I'm really, really, really in love with right now, just because now I went from transitioning to just talking my shit with this. I bought this to Cuba. I went on my traveling. My Like, this was like my travel-ish. To walk around, talk my shit, you know, travel vlogs type stuff. To like a little action. <clears throat> Being able to go into the water, do the little outdoorsy stuff, having a different perspective, right? It's a full out action camera because now I'm learning how to willy and I want to document that. The Insta360 is perfect. Perfect when I tell you, if you are somebody who does not have somebody who can record you, this is the camera for you, right? I'm just... I have an eye for photography, so I'm always creative. Like, I would mount this in a distance and just ride past it. Like, I'd figure out ways how to record myself with each of these cameras. But not, not, not a lot of people are creative like that or are able to do it, like, with their phones or whatever. This is the camera to get if you want to document, do your vlogs, all of that, talk your shit. But also, if you are trying to record yourself and document yourself doing tricks, doing... um whether it's skateboarding, whatever the case may be, specifically for <clears throat> riding bike, they have a whole kit and caboodle. I'm not even gonna go into this box because I'm gonna keep it a stack. The only thing that I've used out this box is the mount for my handlebars. And at first I had it attached with this little invisible rod to give it a, a broader perspective of me while I'm willing, but this moves around too much. So I just mount it like this and I turn it upside down so you can get me and the wheel up. The video is not that great. It looks awesome when it's mounted with this, but for whatever reason, this cannot stay stationary. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. I don't know. So I don't really use that. Um, <clears throat> but besides that, I do also use my 360 um, to vlog regular now. So it has become this camera for me. And also this one. Number one, the battery life, right? Number two, the size. It's convenient. So it comes... <clears throat> I bought the mod with both cameras. Like this, it is not waterproof. However, when you put it together... So you can either put the camera together to where you have the screen facing you... Or you can put it to where you're recording outside, right? And then you hook it up to the bottom, to the battery. This is the battery. And now you turn it on and it's good to go. You're recording in, with a 4K lens. So this is like a GoPro, um, the regular GoPro. This is very similar to the DJI without the gimbal. Um, a lot better quality videos than this um the Opkix camera and then it has the screen something that i also like about this besides it being waterproof my airpods can be connected to it to use it as a mic so for the videos that i like to talk shit where the clarity might not be as solid because of the camera i can use it wirelessly then you can also buy a piece to be able to attach a mic but that's your choice i wouldn't do that because I got the wireless headphones, right? Um, what else do I like about this camera? It comes with the invisible selfie stick. So taking 360 pictures, putting it in the middle of the group, you snap the picture, the selfie stick doesn't come up. The, you come out with amazing pictures with everybody in it. Like it's so fire. I also have the little mount <clears throat> to kind of be able to do that. And then this does some like, swirling shit i haven't played with that yet i'll update that later on um where you can put these two together and it takes some type of 360 air shot which is supposed to be really cool i want to try um i'm gonna try eventually and it's durable because i've already dropped it <clears throat> um what i will say though so you just gotta make sure the parts are aligned, like this goes on the bottom, right? You hook it together, now it's waterproof, now it's ready to record in 360. It took a little a little time getting used to the app to edit the videos. So it connects wirelessly to your cell phone. 
um, you download the videos and it saves to the application, then you then have to export it out of the application into your photos. So it's kind of like taking up double memory, which kind of sucks. But it forces me to go through my content, put it together, upload it, and clear shit out because I tend to hoard shit and procrastinate. So it kind of been it's been putting me under pressure for that. Um, and what else would I say? I don't like the battery life isn't that great. Um, my Osmo Pocket battery is phenomenal. I can record straight through maybe an hour. Um, it lasts me all day recording little clips, 30, 40 seconds on and off. Um, the battery on this does die very quickly. I actually purchased the extended battery, but with the extended battery, it no longer fits in this case. It does come with the mount on the bottom, but my concern is, and I'll update you guys if it happens, is that part cracking because I cracked this yesterday. So that's that. <clears throat> and yeah, this is like for your, for the person who is into everything, beaching, um, physical activity, vlogging, where you just want to document full experiences, this is the camera to go with. Um, with the selfie stick, you can use it. Like I was also looking into drones. Um, so it kind of does give you a drone's perspective with the 360 camera, but there's so many options with this camera and so many ways you can get creative with it where the GoPro Fusion, I think you only have the 360 camera on it. And the last GoPro I had was only the action camera. So it gives you the options of both, right? makes it convenient so you can do a little bit of both um and yeah i guess that's that's all i gotta say about that i hope you guys find this informative if you have more questions whatever comment below i'm always responding to the comments um if it's not something that i know i'll try to figure it out and play with it and give you feedback like i'm sure you guys are curious about this little time sh shit i'm curious about it too and when i figure it out i'm gonna put it up there so you guys can see it because there's also not a lot of um videos for how to that aren't like i'm somebody that i need to straight to the point and a lot of the videos are they drag with it so i'm gonna try to post that also i hope you guys enjoyed the video like and subscribe if you're feeling the vibe feel me all right